Time now for the last of the medal matches here in Nîmes at the Indoor Archery World Series Youth Finals. And it's time for the recurve men's under 21 gold medal match. gold medal contest is between Javier Marida of Spain and Leo Sulik of Croatia. This for the top two spots on the podium in the Rico of men's under 21 competition. Javier Merida of Spain to get this gold medal match underway. start so important well, the top seed starting with two tens nine enough for the set points here for the Spaniard Perfect score and the set points. A solid way to finish the set for Sulik. But the set points with Merida. He goes 2-0 up. John, another perfect score, this time from Javier Merida from Spain. He looks absolutely dialed in. The only way that Sulik's going to get points is by shooting 30. He's got to bring it. He's not going to get anything with a 28 or 29. He's going to have to put some pressure on. I feel like he can, though. I feel like he looked calm. I know he didn't find the 10 to the third arrow, but he can put the arrows more of a pattern. So it'll be interesting to see if Sulik can put a 30 in now and actually start making Marita work because that's the only way he's going to break this guy. Sulik, as John said, taking three hours to get into the middle. He'll shoot first in the second set, and boy, oh boy, is he up against a powerhouse here in Javier Merida. Door opens. Hey. 
Sulik needs a 10 to level up. And he gets just that. We're all square after two. So dropping just a single point at 29, not quite enough to get any points in the second set. And we are all level again at two apiece between Merida and Sulik. John, you said Sulik needed 30s. Uh, he sounded like he listened to you. He did. And did you see the confidence on the third arrow to get it? No hesitation. That was up, on, and gone. And that was brilliant. Merida needs to look at his group, actually. All his arrows are slightly left, which in his miss is miss. His nine was left, so I think he needs a couple of clicks. Yeah, it looked like he made a little change uh, between uh, the uh, first and second arrow. So we'll see if he starts uh, or, or continues uh, to make those changes as John has suggested. Everything going left at the moment. We go in to the third set, all square at two set points apiece. Merida versus Sulik for gold. Very deliberate process from Javier Merida. Eyes drop down onto the bow hand. <laughs> Using all his time though. It's a much quicker process, but that has drifted high. Wow, that is unexpected. A 10 to level things up. This is a long hold. Oh, I thought that was going off. How did he do that? How on earth did he do that? He had to come back to full draw, but somehow Leo Sulik has put it into the 10. It's what he needed to level the scores up at 28 apiece. But boy, oh boy, what an interesting third set between Marina and Sulik. Three set points each, two sets to go. Uh, John, discuss. Uh, I don't know what I just saw. <laughs> that was incredible i don't know I, I don't know how he had enough time i felt like he held that arrow for the entire 20 seconds and he reset it three times and somehow it went in the 10 miracle arrow but i was but shocked the eight from Mar the, the eight yeah. from marida that was a bit unusual yeah very a lot of pressure out there they're feeling it they both want to win it Two sets to go in this enthralling contest between Merida of Spain and Sulik of Croatia. Three set points apiece, six arrows to decide this gold medal. Nine. There is an opportunity and at this stage that could be critical. Nine. Both going high nines. Eight. 
right on the buzzer and the nerves really jangling for Javier Merida. Another big opportunity here for Leo Sulik. Bit of a longer hold. Still a massive opportunity here. Eight to draw. A ten gives him a solid lead in the in the fourth set, and he goes five three up. Leo Sulik getting an advantage going in to the final set, five three over Javier Merida, who at the beginning looked like. It was going to be very tricky to beat him. John, you called it. The nerves are kicking in, right? They're trying to win, aren't they? They're, they're, their process has gone out the door for both of them. And they're, just, they're there just trying to shoot tens and beat each other, which for us is way more entertaining. Um, yeah, but Sulik, he knows how to really put an arrow in the middle when it's really on, doesn't he? It's not pretty, but it's super effective. And uh, he's got under Madeira's skin, who's, you know, if he finds his process, he's going to shoot dirty. But it's, he's not thinking like that. Being out there and, and everything, it's leading to a great match. Leo Sulik of Croatia in the red t shirt. 5 3 up in this gold medal match. Final set to come. Javi Marida of Spain shooting to stay in with the chance of the title here in Nîmes. And again, an opportunity going left. Mirroring the fourth set. Two arrows to go. Advantage Schulich. Long hold again. He can't let go of it. And that's drifted down into the eight. And here is an opportunity to draw level. Needed a nine. A ten is enough. More than enough to level things up here. And a final quick arrow from Leo Sulik. Just wanted to get rid of that one. And we are all tied up at five set points apiece. A 26 from Leo Sulik. The nerves really showing here. And it means we will go to a one arrow shoot off. And boy, oh boy, uh, with the nerves as they are out here, we are in for an absolutely pretty brilliant finish to this competition john I, I, I very difficult to call if you look at the way the momentum's going at the moment perhaps you'd slightly favor javier Morita, but i mean this is a really nervy contest isn't it uh, it's crazy isn't it yeah they're both making mistakes left right and center but just think Merida has been more consistent in this match. Kind of Sulik's just got this real gutty battle, but this this could be interesting. I can't call it. Which one of these two has got the nerve? As this recurve men's under 21 gold medal match. Goes down to a shoot off here at the Indoor Archery World Series Youth Finals. Have a Merida of Spain on target one against Leo Sulik of Croatia on target two. One arrow 
to decide who will take the title here in Nîmes. Merida to shoot first. There is plenty of room here. That is as far across on the nine as you can get. Nine. Sulik goes nine as well, but it looks like it's closer. The smile on the face says it all. It came down to one hour in a nervy contest. Five apiece after the regulation sets between Merida and Sulik. It came down to that one arrow. And a closer nine for Leo Sulik of Croatia means he's taken the recurve men's under 21 title here at the Indoor Archery World Series Youth Finals. Well, what a contest. Leo Sulik winning the battle of the nerves in the recurve men's under 21 competition.